welcome friends to the GIS station channel today we are going to learn how to do supervised classification in QGIS so without any further ado let's get started so uh, first of all you need to install a plugin which is called semi-automatic plugin from menu bar just go to plugins manage and install plugins this uh, then just uh, search for semi-automatic plugin you don't need to write the full sentence just type semi and you will find the semi automatic classification plugin just install the plugin and uh, after installing the plugin you just uh, need to add the satellite data which you want to classify first uh, of all add the raster layers go to layer add data add layers and click on add raster layer or just simply press ctrl shift and r and add your raster data i'm going to add the sentinel 2 satellite data uh, only band RGB red green blue and the near infrared data which is band number 8 mm, add the data ok the sentinel 2 satellite data is only available in 100 meter 100 kilometer by 100 kilometer tiles so uh, we need to crop the data crop crop to the our area of interest because uh, this huge amount of amount of data take more time to process so we need to crop the data so uh, how do we crop multiple raster with a in a single time so uh, if we want to crop the uh, crop all the bands then uh, we go to scp then go to processing then go to clip multiple raster so that you can uh, clip multiple raster at a time so uh, we are in clip multiple rasters and select the input band set so uh, yet we don't create any band set first of all uh, first we need to create our band set so how do we create our band set go to band set then refresh the band set list it will take it will automatically check your added rasters see all the rasters are added in your band list and select all the bands and just add them to your band set band set one by clicking uh, click over the plus icon see all the bands are added now without any click over the run or anything else just go to processing and uh, select uh, input band set type as one and uh, select your area of interest by clicking over the plus symbol plus icon and select your area of interest by left click right clicking over the top left corner of your area of interest and left click over the right bottom area of your area of interest by that you can uh, see the uh, area of interest is selected and now just click on run S uh, select your output destination folder and just select your folder it will take some time and all the bands are clipped at a time okay all the bands are now clipped and we are going to delete all extra bands we don't need them okay now we have all our bands and i am going to just organize my bands uh, band number two is first band number three band number four and band number eight okay now we are going to set our bands so uh, how do we set our bands go to scp set band set and uh, then um, refresh the uh, band list again and it will take automatically the clip bands only and delete all the previous bands okay now add the clip bands click on run select the output location our bands are now set i'll check that it's work or not okay bands are now set now we are going to create our training samples so uh, you need to create uh, you need to take samples from your raster data so if you want to do that just go to view and panel and scp doc 
under the SCP doc there is option which is called training input we are going to input our uh, signature files or uh, sample our uh, sample our data from this register from this raster okay uh, first thing which you have to do which is create a uh, training sample file by clicking over here click new training input give a file name training or signature whichever you want to add signature okay now the file is added now you are going to add the samples by uh, select this, this option create a ROI polygon I am going to take the sample over the river and give the file give the sample name as river okay okay river is now completed and it is our woodland it is woodland uh, increase the micro class id by one okay woodland now woodland signature is file now is created now select the grassland complete the polygon by uh, uh, right clicking over the end area this is our grassland uh, grassland area and increase the macro class id and click run save the signature files mm, that's our river bed river bed Okay, river bed increase the micro plus ID river bed grassland. Okay, fine. Now, if you want to uh, view your uh, classified image, then just go to this option and activate classification preview, which is it is only for preview. This file is not going to save, it is only for preview purpose. Only you are supposed to uh, increase the area preview area see the preview area is now increased you can check all of them at a time by activating this uh, class temple uh, temp group okay now uh, we are going to export the uh, whole image with classified with uh, with classification with classification so we need to go to uh, classification algorithm is maximum distance make sure it is in maximum distance and run the program select the output output location I'm going to save it in desktop and give the file name and it will take some time and your classified data is ready for any purpose see uh, you are going to change uh, classes color accordingly by uh, woodland grassland riverbed and uh, river as you wish you can easily change the uh, colors as you can see i have changed all the colors so by using this process you can easily do supervised classification in any raster images and use this uh, classified image in any map any type of background and um, do create beautiful maps thank you for watching do subscribe my channel ring the bell icon and do comment like share this video again thank you for watching jai hind Matram.